So on my way to the mountain every morning, I like to stop and get coffee or tea at one of my favorite places. This is Elevated Ground, started by a couple of my friends, so locally owned and some of the best coffee in town. My secret dream job is to be a barista, so my friend Sophie and I are going to make you a mean latte. And you, did you want to make a drink today? I'd love to. What's your favorite drink? Organic almond latte with extra cool. foam and extra love. Cool, extra love. All right, Lindsay, here's your organic almond milk latte. Tell me how it tastes. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh my God, it's really good. All right, let's hit the hill. Hey, welcome to Teton Pass. Oh, let you get that for me. My favorite part of skiing on the pass is that there's always options. Um, I call it poor man's heli skiing. I like the access. Just if you have a couple hours, you can come up, or if you have a full storm condition, you can still get out. Skiing up on the pass has been some of the only like over the head blower pow I've ever skied. And it was right in my own backyard. If you haven't been to Jackson until you've been to the brew pub, craft brewery, micro brews, it's the ultimate place to hang with your friends, come for lunch or dinner, or just hang out. <laughs> Everybody else does. What is your most famous, most popular beer from the brew pub? For a long time, it was pale ale. I mean, that's definitely still the locals' favorite. Uh, we did Snake River Lager for a long time. But uh, right now, it's Paco's IPA. So that won a gold medal three or four years ago down in Denver. You know, We make a good amount of beer every single year. We make 8,500 barrels annually. And it's a lot of good times. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, we stay busy. You know, the pub here is special for a lot of locals. You know, it's kind of their living room. It's where they come, hang out with their friends. It's really important to the community. One of my favorite places to eat in Jackson Hole is authentic Thai cuisine. It's called Teton Thai. And it's got a great story and Sam, one of the owners, is inside waiting to meet us. He's gonna take us on a tour and tell us all about it. Tell us why Teton Thai is such is the place to be for Jackson if you're visiting. Yeah, you know, we just have I think a lot of great people that come through the door like yourself, but look where we're at. We're at the base of the village and it just turns into you know, a lifestyle that we want to all be part of. So, I hear you're going to take us on a tour. I will. Would you come check out our kitchen? Yes. Please. Yeah. This is my wife's mom, uh, Boon Lawa. She's fantastic. And a lot of our crew has been with us for a long time. Cranking out a bunch of noodles, stir fries, curries. I think we're just making food that makes you feel good. Well, let's order some grub. Please do. Come on. Uh, we got a table on the corner for you. So there's quite a scene up here on the pass, as you can see. You know, people are getting stuck. <laughs> are you are you actually not stuck anymore? Thank you. 
Yeah, so that's pretty standard. You gotta have your four-wheel drive up here. Um, legitimate high avalanche risk. And, um, hi! Oh my God, it's the most famous dog in town. This is Peppy. Hi, Pep. Who are you yelling at? Oh, it's so nice to see you too. <laughs> That's the very best part of being up on the pass is you can bring your furry friends. I'm not telling my favorite zone. <laughs> You're on your own, you gotta earn that. <laughs>